What are you going to leave behind when you come to God? When you come to God, you've got to leave something behind. Have to. So in closing, brothers and sisters, God called me and you to leave a wretched life, to sit behind, come to Him, and be saved. If people linger well, they will pay the ultimate price. They will lose their souls in hell. And it doesn't have to be that way. They will come back to hell. Come back to Come out to watch God. He would tell them, came back. And we're going to pick up next week. A few widows there. We'll pick up next week. I encourage you to read this story. We did such a tremendous story. You're going to see this like a Cinderella story. Amen. Let us go.
And God, because of my bad decisions, Lord God, it has hurt me and many people around me. And so, God, I want to be able to always trust you, even in the valleys, even in the darkness. You can bow your head and ask God right now where I'm at right now. Or if you have a person who is in Moab and you need to be with the Lord. Or if you have to be back, would you come right now down the aisle? Come out right now and say, God, I want to be in your kingdom. I want to experience you in your fullness. I want to have Christ as my Savior. You are here today. On this last Sunday of 2015, I want to come right now. Now we got to come now. I think the time of prayer right now, Lord God. Is there someone else? Because I, I made the decision wrong. Don't try to hide and justify it. You need Jesus. Well, this side, this side may be upon. Don't be the same thing. Hey, you know, you, you can go there for a little while and come back. No, no, no. Doesn't work like that. Come to Jesus. If you're not secure, safe, and saved by the blood of Jesus. Then your life is a more of a head of destruction. And God always sends that word before he sends destruction. You're here today. God is saying, come home, come home, come home. So you I'm going to pray right now.
to be reset, amen. And I thank God today, amen, that God can use individuals, saints of God, amen, to be that hand of grace, love, and mercy. Go by the aisle. To reset someone who is broken. Amen. And we live long enough, but we all can get broken, amen. And we need a reset. Praise God, amen. Praise God, amen. Praise God, amen. God is good, amen. God is so good, amen. That's love. That's grace. That's mercy, amen. God. And sometimes it just takes that saints gather to have a prayer to help someone to a more about experience than that. Praise God. God bless you. God keep you. At this time, our dick is going to come and we're going to bless the Lord with a generous, loving offering to the Lord, amen. To the Lord, amen. We really want to give God the best. God gave us his best, amen. And God wants the first fruits. God wants and God desires to be first in our life. And that means that when it comes time to giving, it is not an after. The, oh, I got to give. No, no. It is a forethought. Amen. Now, oh, oh my God, it's time to give. No, no. The moment the Lord allows the finance to come your way, the first thought is, Lord, I want to bless you. I want to set aside a blessing for you, Lord God, as an expression of your goodness and my desire to see the gospel reach out and touch and change lives. Amen. Lord God, like David said, Lord, there is nothing too good I give back to you. And so we come right now with the first fruits. Because God is worthy of our best. God is worthy of the sacrificial offering for his glory. Amen. Hands of our deacons and friends. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Father God, we just want to thank you, Lord, for the chance that we have to give back a small portion of what you give us. And it's truly yours to begin with, Father God. We know nothing. So I just want to take this time to thank you. Mm -hmm. Pastor, what you're saying is, it is so right. The more we give, the more blessed we mm -hmm. I know that firsthand myself, mm -hmm. Father God. So I just ask Father God that you bless all the people. You know, bless those who have in their heart. They want to give them the time to give them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
We've got a great, 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 great.
I have a daily, daily Bible reading plan, your online giving and things like that. It makes it so much easier and simple. We were, this year, we really want to push things like really get out to get involved in the soul media and make that church really well known. Praise God. And I thank God for Brother Coleman, who's doing a great job with our church app and getting uploaded. And also to our church website. You put our website, to it's, it's looking really great there. Praise God. Also, our next, on the calendar, our next Saturday, we're doing things different. One thing we do, every other month, we have a witnessing on first Sunday, first Saturday. So next Saturday, those we're going out witnessing at 11 o'clock. Those like the little walking, amen, walking, talking, praying, be here at 11 o'clock on next Saturday. We'll go out and knock on doors and just kind of witness in the community, amen. We do it every other month, amen. So we want to really get people to know about God and know about the church, about the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And then uh, this coming Thursday, we're having our great watch night service, amen. We get at 10 o'clock on Thursday night. 10 o'clock p.m., we're going to celebrate the old passing and new whole new year coming in 2016, amen. Looking forward to a great, awesome time there. And then also, uh, we're getting, we're cross-looking at our church pew. You know, there's a very back pew back there. What we're doing with our church pews is, you can all think they have, and our host also has a uh, Greek conch thing like that. And so we have a guy who's going to, uh, it's a very back pew where the usher sitting back there. That one's a restain day, man. We're gonna restain our pew and they have a post. That's gonna save us about seven thousand dollars to have them stained by another person to have a post also, amen. So that we, he did a sample first, see how it's gonna look, amen. And so praise God to be done. Hope it's probably next week and all done up that thing yeah. here. And then also coming up, we need uh in our in February, we're having our Black History Culture Month celebration. <laughs> God lays on your heart. To get that up, to start that up, amen, for a program for Black Kids to go to please uh, just do it, amen. Just get it going, praise God, amen. We're going to date for that there, set there for that there. That's going to be really a great opportunity, really be a great blessing. Yeah, I think that was uh, probably the same thing. Also, when Brian said, we missed us, amen. We'll be back on next Wednesday. Tell about I missed it very, very much. It's important to me that what's up. Uh, next week. Amen. So again, God bless you and God keep you. I'll see you on Friday, Thursday night at 10 o'clock for our great awesome watch night service. Amen. 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 Praise Him. Did I miss anything? Amen. Let us stand. <laughs>
We thank you, God. We praise you, love you. And all of God's people say together. <laughs>